Hi folks, today we're going to take you through the different phases of Epic Warpath and show you how the mechanics work. So first of all, we're going to start with movement. So Matt, can you show us how to move a model? Absolutely. So in uh, Warpath, everything's in, in inches. Um, so um, kind of standard for, for yeah. a, a war game, really. Um, how far you move is determined by your SP value or your speed value, which yep. is on your on your unit profile. Um, it comes in two values. So typically, so something like these guys here have got four slash eight, yep. which means if they've got an advance order like they have here, uh, the green one, they can go up to that first value. Yep. Um, so up to four in that case. If they've got a sprint like these guys here, it's that second value. Yeah. And for some, for, uh, sometimes terrain will have an effect. So if a terrain is difficult for that that class of unit, then you can only ever go up to that first unit anyway. Even if you're even if you're sprinting. Yeah. Um, so if we move these guys just to just to show what that looks like. Yeah. So I've got my striders here. These have got a sprint. My uh, leapers here have also got a sprint order because they really like to get into combat. Um, and my ghouls here have got a got an advance. Now the only way you can get into combat is with a sprint uh, action token anyway, which is which is why these guys have got it. Yeah. So normally we do alternating activation, but uh, we'll just show how these guys would, would move across the battlefield. So these guys want to get uh, uh, into this building here. They're quite they're quite desperate. There's some nice tasty food <laughs> over there. Um, so they'll get a move of 12. Now this this is uh, open terrain for infantry, so they've got no problem running through that or, or around it. Yep. Their speed is 6 slash 12. So they get on a sprint, they can go full full 12 inches. Now you measure for on, on each base um, as we go, and uh, each one of those can get to that building. So they've got no problem all getting in contact with that building and then being able to assault that building. Yes. So we'll move that up. Uh, they can merely get in base-to-base -base contact. Now the ones behind will support, so they'll still get their attack, so that's not a problem. Um, now they've now they've moved. They've got into into an assault. They would receive uh, a combat token, which we'll talk about in a in a later video. These guys here um, are sprinting now for uh, for walkers uh, or vehicles or bikes. Uh, woods are difficult terrain, which means even though they've got a sprint, they can't go that second number. Yeah. They can only go the first one. They want to get as close as they can to that uh, that objective token there. So they've got four slash eight. So they're only going to be able to go four. Even though only part some of their movements into the difficult terrain, that's as far as they are going to get like that. Okay. Um, they will just lose that. They've got no opportunity to fight or shoot or anything like that with a with a sprint token. So that's cleared. These guys might have an opportunity to shoot, which is why they've just stuck to an advance and they don't want to get too too close to the enemy over over there somewhere. So they'll be able to move with an advance the first value. So these these guys are four slash eight, so four inches four. that first value. So they'll move themselves up to the edge of here, just so they can get a bit more range for when they come to shoot. Um, and they'll swap that for a combat token, which they can then spend later to shoot. So moving is pretty simple. Um, everything, once a, once a unit's finished moving, it has to stay in what we call coherency. So the bases have to stay within an inch of each other, yep. or within six inches of all the other bases, just so you can't have, string them out and have part of the unit over here and part of the unit over there. Fairly standard stuff. Excellent. So, as you can see, it's very straightforward. That's how movement works in Epic Warpath. 